I will tell you some idioms to make you more than me give speaker. Okay, without any further ado, let's get started. Hello guys, before we start, I want to tell you what is idioms. An idiom is an expression that tags on a figurative meaning when certain words are combined, which is different from the literal definition of the individual words. So that is the meaning of idioms. First is piece of cake. What does that mean? It means that it's to describe something is very easy to complete. For example, this homework will be a piece of cake for him because he's genius. It means because he's genius, so this homework it will be easy for him. Second. What a big cause a dead. What does that mean? It means would we'll never do something. Like, uh, I, I wouldn't do this because it's very embarrassing. For example, I would be called dead when talk like that. See? I would never wearing talk like that because it was very embarrassing. The third is anything but it means by no means by no means you know by no means <laughs> for example i want to see a movie in theater with my friends and it was anything but it's good in fact i don't understand the story number four is to be born yesterday what does that mean it means naive or inexperienced for example you didn't go fool me. Sorry, but I wasn't born yesterday. I know you lied to me. The fifth is hit the sack or hit the hay. It means you want to go to sleep or go to bed. For example, I'm really exhausted after doing my project. I'm going to hit the hay. The sack is filled and under the weather. Fill a bit under the weather. What does it mean? It means you feel ill or sick. For example, I didn't go to the campus today. I was feeling a bit under the weather. The seventh is no bed of roses. It means it's difficult or not easy. For example, Guinea would one of the top five university in Indonesia. It's no bad process. It's difficult. You have to study hard. Okay, F is to lend an E. It means to listen to somebody with a sympathy. For example, don't be sad. I'm always here to lend an E for you if you need one. The line is that's three little words. This is an indirect way of referring to word I love you. I think it's always uh, sweet idioms I've heard. For example, so he said those little three words to you. Wow, congratulations. The last idiom is to only have eyes for someone. It means you only have attracted or interested only for one person. For example, I only have eyes for my boyfriend. It means I only interested to my boyfriend. Okay, so that's the 10 idioms to make you more like native speaker. I hope it's useful for you and you got more a lot of idioms for this video. Thank you for watching, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. See you for the next video!